Remember last time before I went on a pilgrimage, before I traveled, I requested for your prayers, and you prayed for me, and it was successful, very enriching. So we landed in Lourdes. That was our first stop. Then from Lourdes, after we spent two days, and at Lourdes, we, did, we celebrated the Mass and the Rosary procession and the Eucharistic procession. So we did that for two nights. Then the next day, we drove to Zaragoza. In Zaragoza, we visited the Basilica of Del Pilar. So this basilica was where our blessed mother visited the apostles with a pillar. And we venerated the pillar and celebrated Mass. From Zaragoza, we drove to Madrid. From Madrid, we drove to Toledo. And we went to the best cathedral on earth. It is in Toledo. It took about 266 years before they finished building of this cathedral. Then after our experience in Toledo, we drove to Salamanca. From Salamanca, we drove to Segovia. From Segovia, we drove to Avila. And in Avila, we visited where St. Teresa of Avila died and the convent that she established. We also visited the church where she was baptized. We visited her family house. And also, we saw the relic of St. Teresa of Avila, the heart and the arm. It is right there. From Avila, we moved to Fatima. And in Fatima, we visited the house of the three children that our Blessed Mother appeared to, Jacinta, Francisco, and Lucia. Then from Fatima, we moved to Santa Rem. In Santa Rem, there was a Eucharistic miracle that happened at the church of St. Stephen. For me, that was the most incredible experience. In this church, there is a preservation of the Eucharistic Jesus that is bleeding. So the story goes this way. In the year 1247, there was a woman. She was married, but the husband was cheating. So she decided to do something in order to hold the husband. She now went to a sorceress who demanded that this woman should bring Eucharist, she go and steal Eucharist and bring to her. So the lady went to church, this St. Stephen's church. She received the Holy Eucharist. Instead of consuming the Holy Eucharist, she took it and put it in a cloth and decided to go to the sorceress to deliver that. On her way, she realized that the Eucharist was bleeding and she became afraid. She now rushed back home 
and called the husband and told the husband, both of them were afraid. So then the husband now encouraged her to hide it in a chest, which she did. That very night, they saw lightning coming out from the chest, and they became terrified. Then they had to rush to the pastor to report to the pastor. Then the pastor asked them to bring the host which they brought. So the pastor alerted the bishop. The bishop now alerted um, Vatican. They did some medical procedures to test exactly the content of the blood and they realized that it was real blood. So they, those things were gathered and they were preserved in this church of St. Stephen. It is right there. I have the photos. I did the veneration. And also, I celebrated Mass in this church. My dear friends, this reminds us that what we are teaching is real, this real truth, that in the Holy Eucharist, Jesus is right there, present, body, soul, blood, and divinity. That is the most incredible experience I had on this pilgrimage. And also, when we see the number of people, especially the young adults, flocking, coming to Lourdes, to Fatima, to pray, that gives us hope that still there are people that have faith in God. My dear friends in Christ, this is what the gospel of today reminds us that we have to build our treasure in heaven. And building our treasure in heaven is believing the word of God, believing the teachings of the church. Like we read in the gospel, Jesus reminds us that what matters is having that relationship with God and not the material things we have. So let us pray in this Mass that God will give us the grace to always believe, to always revere the Holy Eucharist and to believe the teachings of Jesus. May he continue to enlighten us as we journey through Christ our Lord. Amen.